And it's the end of the Open Labware course. Sorry, Jerry, that I caught you with your head on. <laughs> so you want to tell us what that is? Uh, this is a, we're trying to build a passive avoidance apparatus uh -huh. made for memory testing. And uh, we're trying, though we still have a little long way to go, at least where the coding and the rest of us to give the box a brain, actually, because it's actually functioning, but the brain is not there yet. Okay, so you guys are finishing the brain of the box, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> cool. been written already. Yeah. So, wish you could just go back two weeks. Uh -huh. I think we could find the time machine to just go back to <laughs> I also love it. I think we could build a time machine right now because it's been so great having you guys around. Cool. And having this, I believe that it's a very good thing to do because it will spur us to even develop much more better stuff. Cool, so man. we can apply it in other areas and make science easier. Great. And are you, you guys... Thank you <laughs> You're welcome. I guess everybody from Trend will say you're welcome. Say hi, <laughs> Tolu. <laughs> All right, so now the last question for the extra point. Is this code that you're going to upload and put it online, or is it documented somewhere? We, we have we've documented every process, so we're going to upload it online so that people can also follow it up and develop it. Then we could see it, and they could adapt it in their labs, too, and it will lead to a better upgrade of this. Great. Because it's like a prototype. Uh -huh. So for us to have... People from all over to bring up new ideas and how we can improve on this also. It's a, it's a welcome and uh, stuff. Welcome cool, man. Welcome. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank